All right, so the AUT update finally dropped. We're going to go through some of the important stuff in this update. I won't go through everything. I'm just going to keep this short and simple. So first of all, Yasuo and Yone. To get Yasuo and Yone, just talk to this guy in mid or in spawn. Uh, this is the Umbra NPC right here. And you talk to him for the quest. It costs roughly 500,000 U coins to get a quest. I might not have it right now, but it's not working. So I'm waiting for them to fix it. Um, they did say they fix it, but it's not. So yeah, um, there's a new NPC over there. It is the Turks. Um, let me just switch my stand real quick and try to fight them. They are pretty strong. Um, let's use Nocturnus. Nocturnus is like the best stand to fight there. And this is the new 1v1 field. Looks pretty cool. Um, move. No, I won't say this update is bad, but there's a lot of bugs that they need to fix. They say it was unexpected bugs. So I guess it's understandable that they didn't really know that the bugs existed. So anyways, let's find the Turks right here. So Nocturnus, definitely very strong stand. I think we should have no problem fighting the Turks here. I do hear that, no, I heard that they have exploits and stuff. So let's see how this is going to go. One, two, three. Oh crap, what the hell? What? Did they just TP towards me? What? Hold up. What? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? What the, where do they teleport? The Tugs are like anti-combo NPCs, man. Like they don't, they won't let you do a normal combos, man. What? I just wasted my move because he teleported. What the hell? But like either way, I don't think this is that hard. And boom, that's it. So the Tugs, pretty strong. Mm, even though they are called Tugs, I think they are a very, very strong NPC. They actually play better than normal players, in my opinion. Like. Uh, unlike normal players this one actually chases you instead of them running away this one chases you instead which is very very cool like finally i don't have to fight runners anymore like even the npcs have been much more better man all right i was just joking but um let's move on now so the skins so get to equip the skins we'll go right here and here as you can see i have a lot of stands in my bank so this will have a lot of skins here I mean, a lot of stands here to check out or equip skins from. Right now, I don't have a skin yet, so I'm gonna buy one skin right now. Uh, no, not, not not right now. I'm still thinking of which skin I should buy, so not right now. So, to get skins, oh uh, no, to check all your skins, go to the inventory, go to skin inventory, and check it out over here. And then to buy skins, go to the shop. There's a daily store right here. It refreshes every 24 hours. You can get um, some Yasuo skins, some Soul Scythe skins, and stuff. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if they can um, sell epics or legendary skins here. Maybe it's rare, that's all. But yeah, um, there's also a Halloween tab right here. They only sell skins for U points. Um, they look pretty cool and the U points are pretty cheap. They can buy it from the product store right here. And they only cost 200 Robux for 400 U points. Super duper cheap. Definitely recommend getting this if you guys have the Robux because like the skins here looks good. It's cheap and it stays there forever. So. I feel like if you guys have the if you, have, you guys have the money and you guys really want to get a cool skin in AUT, then this is definitely the time to spend your money. But yeah, and there's a crates here too. The crates I don't really recommend. Even though they're cheap, they have a very low drop rate. Like look at this right here. Look at the epic skins. They are not even one percent. And the legendary skins. Let's never talk about legendary skins. They're even they, they they're even rarer than that. So don't recommend this if the daily store doesn't drop any legendary skins or epic skins then then you might have to spend some of your money on this I just say but yeah so you can buy skin crates you can buy skins here with u shots and u points i just told you guys how to get u points right here to get u shots you want to go talk to this guy right here the daily quest npc he's also located in mid or spawn so we'll just talk to him and then you can just click get my daily quest and then you get a daily quest not sure how much this gives but right now it is bugged so basically the bug is that when you try to complete it now when you try to do the quest it doesn't work and when you leave the game your quest disappears and when you jump back the game um they will just say come back later and get your quest again which is what's happening right now so yeah that's basically the skins now let's move on to the bike um the bike is a pretty small item that was added it's pretty useful it's very it's very useful for mobility but i don't think i will be using it so you want to go to curse convenience store you guys don't know where curse convenience store is just from mid um from here you should see like a sign that says trading hub right there 
then right walk just walk here you can see curse convenience store right here so from here go up here and then just talk to the shop npc right here hit yes and then you can buy a bike right here can i buy it all right i can buy it now the bike disappears once you leave the game uh i'm not sure you can store it but maybe you can i'm not sure but yeah so i'm gonna use the bike right here very good mobility um item but at the same time is it worth it I'm not really sure about that but anyways let's move on to the final part of this video which is the bosses the bosses are um, I want to recommend spawning them right now because um, there's a lot of bugs and you might how do you say you might waste your curse stop for like a bugged boss and then you can never get it I can't get anything from it like it's kind of sad or maybe like just now they fixed the bug where hollow boss did 999 damage per m1 but which is quite insane but anyways um you guys come here this area at the back here of devil's palm um you can see that dawn's right here i don't really like it that they actually put dawn right next to Dio right here because Dio spawns right here like uh i'm not really sure about this man like what if Dio just jumps me when i i just when i just want to get quests like what would happen man anyways this is like a very cool little area for dawn finally dawn gets his own place and moving on we'll check out the bosses so i'm not gonna spawn any bosses again i'm scared that the bugs might how to say my my boss will get bugs and i don't get anything from it or maybe the boss just get flung around or the boss is immortal there's a lot of possibilities so i'm waiting for like at least a few hours before i actually spawn the boss so here i also i also recommend guys if you have like one curse stop or one tales of the universe then don't recommend spawning the boss right now again it might get bugged so just don't recommend it right now but yeah so this is the boss altar to summon the boss here you wanna um get your curse stops from a bank take it out put it in the inventory right here and then um don't hold them do not hold them and then if you want to summon hollow just put the curse stop in your inventory and summon the boss um not the boss but boss the boss and umbra requires curse stop and tales of the universe now keep in mind if you have tales of the universe and also the curse stop in the inventory at the same time you summon umbra so if you guys want the hollow boss instead then make sure you keep your tales of the universe in in your bank or something because if not there's gonna be a big issue honestly i think they should have um added a gui for this and as you can see right now nothing happens but i feel like they should add a gui for you to select the boss that you want to summon instead that would be way much more better and way much uh, less confusing oh yeah that's basically much it for this video i think I, I talked about everything um there are also some npc location changes but i think if you guys explore the map um long enough i think you guys will find it immediately um i guess like there's like another bridge right here i think yeah there's another bridge here it's pretty cool so there's like two bridges there that's nice but yeah, um, that's basically my- oh, Jaro is right, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, like I said, if you explore the map, you'll find these NPCs uh, very, very quickly. So, I won't, I won't be keep going through that. But yeah, so the map is pretty cool, everything looks cool. But, you know, there's a lot of bugs in this update, and the devs are fixing it right now. So, if you guys encounter any bugs, um, not sure where it's supposed to report it, but just pray that it fix, they fix it as soon as possible. And yeah, that's basically much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.